You be good girl today. Mwah. <laughs> Good morning. I have lipstick on today. <laughs> I have the kind that I had in my backpack in my what's in my backpack video. And I really like the color of it. So I thought I would wear lipstick today and I did my makeup a little darker than usual. Well, I usually wear like a dark color um, to work, but on the weekends, I either don't wear any at all or like a neutral color. I'm not really sure why I'm talking about makeup this morning, but, um, I took a set of papers home last night to grade. Actually, it was like a set of Scholastic News with four worksheets. Well, it was two front and back. Um, so I'm um, random things that kids had turned in that they had finished. Oh, all of their homework from last week, like four math problems and their reading log, some other things. But I got them all scored, luckily. It only took me like 20 minutes because I sat down and like pushed through. But um, I'm going to put the stuff that I scored in their mailboxes so that whenever they finish their morning work, they can work on finishing any assignments that aren't finished and fixing anything that they missed. This is what they're doing for morning work this morning. Another grammar sheet, like the one I showed you guys the other day. So as soon as they finish that up, then they can work on their mailbox work. I only have four kids left that I need to finish testing, so I'm hoping I can get that done this morning. I didn't have but maybe like an hour yesterday to test because I had a STEM lab meeting. So I could have probably gotten finished yesterday, but because of the meeting, I'm gonna have to work on it really hard this morning and try to get it all done. Are you kidding me? Please call the office. For our morning meeting this morning, I found a website. I, actually, I don't know how I found it, but it's called Mystery Doug, and they do a question of the week. So like a student would write in and ask a question about something, and then Mystery Doug would answer it in a video. I found a video that is about sign language. Did I clock in? Y'all, my computer, I need a new computer. This thing is like ancient. I was gonna see if I could find the name of that website. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. How does sign language work? And so a fourth grader wrote the question, how does sign language work? And Mystery Doug did a video on it. So we're gonna watch that. Let me see if I can show you. So this is the video that's actually in my email. And it's Mystery Doug. So you guys should go check it out. They do a video each week. And like I said, it's questions from students. So we're gonna watch that this morning for our morning meeting. And then we just have our regular literacy rotations and I'm gonna be testing. And then during our whole group today, I'm gonna have my kids continue working on their Martin Luther King Jr. Scholastic News that has taken them. Today will be the third day. I will be so glad when this testing is over, y'all. But I'm gonna get off here and pass out those papers into their mailboxes and get ready for the day. So I will see you guys probably at lunch. We are meeting with the Title One. We're meeting with the Title One teachers today during our planning, so I won't be able to see you guys then, but I'll check back in at lunch. The sign fell again. just now had a chance to vlog. I've been so busy this morning with testing, but it's been a really good morning. My kids 
have worked hard today. We watched that Mystery Doug video this morning about how does sign language work, and they were like glued to that. They loved it. So I will probably incorporate one of those videos into my morning meeting a couple of times or once a week because it went really well. And then we got in our groups and my kids did their lip block rotations pretty good this morning. I only have, I think, three more kids to finish up testing, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. One little girl that's in another class started at a G and is now doing an O. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight levels. She's gone up eight levels. So that's pretty impressive. And then my assistant came in at 9.15 and read the Chocolate Touch to my students. She finished that book today. And then I handed back out their Martin Luther King Jr. Scholastic News. And they only had about 10 minutes before we had to go to lunch. So those are still out on their desks. They are at lunch right now. We're having nachos, cheesy nachos, and Tex-Mex nachos today. So I had to go in there and let them know all the things they could get. And now I'm back in the room. I'm going to look at my goods and service lesson for today and get that all prepared. And then I'm going to go eat a bite of lunch. So I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know how the morning is going. Pretty good so far. Paisley does have gymnastics this evening, so I will be at work until probably 4.30 or so, which is good because I can get some stuff done. But yeah. I'm having a good day, and I hope that you are too, and I will check back in with you guys later. That means it's somewhere over here. That means circle it. Next to the rest of the rest. Next to the rest of the rest. Where's the number four? Is it between the one and four? Are you marking your guesses with tally marks so you can keep up with how many tries? Does it have? Does it have a one in the ones place? In the ones place? Does it have a four in the ones place? No. Is it in the sixth row? What do you mean? Like, it yes. doesn't have a, a yes. six yes. in the tens yes. place. Yes. 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 That's a good question. A six in the tens place. She said, yes, it does. Is it... Is it... In the ones place, does it have an even or an odd number in the ones place? You're marking out all the odd numbers. Oh, now I get it. So it is an odd number. It does have an odd in the ones place. Does it have a greater number than three in the ones place? Is it between um, one hundred? Is it between three hundred and sixty-five through three hundred and sixty-nine? Did you say between? Is it um? 365. Yay! I look like a windblown hot mess. <clears throat> I had um, car riders this afternoon and it is super windy and super chilly out there. So I just got back in my room. This afternoon for math, we played Get to 100. No. 
guess my number on a 500 chart and my kids as you saw in the video did really well i was super impressed they were asking really good questions I do need to work a little more with them on asking questions that make more sense in reference to a hundred board. Like they would say, I had a student who said it is below 230 or whatever. So instead of saying, I need to take this jacket off. So instead of saying like it's below a number, they need to say greater than or less than. So I know that I need to work on the questions that they're asking. But overall, for the most part, they were asking pretty good questions. Some of my students were asking questions like, does it have a four in the tens place? Um, does it have um, an even number in the tens place? Is it an even number? Those kinds of things. So it went really well this afternoon. I was very happy with the way the math lesson went today. I have one more student that I need to, no, two more. I have two more students that I need to finish. One little girl, I just have to ask her the oral comprehension questions. And then the other little girl was absent today. So I will get her in the morning. So far, so good. I had about seven kids not finish their Scholastic News this morning, so I had them put that in their mailbox, which will be their morning work. And we are gonna start a new Scholastic News tomorrow. So I'm hoping after tomorrow, I can get back to a normal teaching routine because it's just way better that way. I need to get some math pages together for our math lesson tomorrow and staple them. I also need to punch holes in our new STEM lab challenge and put those in their STEM lab folders because they will be going to STEM lab on, um, well, they go on Fridays, but they won't be going this Friday because we have one teacher who is trying to get called up so we're all gonna wait and start our new challenge next Friday. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get those ready and put them in there so that they are ready. I also need to get some new words, spelling words for some of my students who have finished their word work and need new words. So I'm gonna do those things. I am probably gonna work till about 4.30 at least. It's 3.05 right now. Hopefully I can get a lot done this afternoon and I think I'm going to eat a snack because I'm hungry. Okay, you guys, I need some serious help. So, I need to know what successful interventions you guys have used for helping your students build fluency and helping your students grow with their written comprehension and regular reading comprehension because I don't think that what we are doing, and I'm speaking as my whole grade level, is working. So I thought I would reach out to you guys and see if you could give me some websites or ideas for how to build written comprehension and fluency in second grade. We have tried like fluency first, read naturally, where you give your students a cold read, they read it, you time them, you count the number of words, and then you have them read it over and over and over, and then do a hot read, and then do a cold read. I don't know. It doesn't make much sense and I don't feel like there's a huge benefit to doing that because they're reading something over and over for a week. Obviously, they're going to get better at it, but when you give them a new passage to read, then their fluency, you know, drops back down. So, I was just going to see what you guys thought. I would love your help and any ideas or anything that you guys do or know that really works for students to build fluency as well as written comprehension. For M-Class testing, they have to write a written response to a 
book that they've read and it's really hard for second graders to be able to do that successfully every single time and use evidence from their book. So if you guys have any tips or tricks or ideas, I am desperate at this point. Please just put them down in the comments. I would love to know what you guys do that works. And I would love to share the ideas with my team. Let me know what you guys do. I'm so interested and I will try anything at this point because all of my students except three went up at least one level. And then one student didn't go up at all. So I have four students out of 19 who didn't go up at all. And I have some kids who are also, they went up, but they're not on grade level. And so I just need some help. So any ideas will be appreciated. I would love to know your thoughts. And thank you in advance. I am getting ready to head out. Paisley's upstairs. I've got to call and get her so she can change into her gymnastics outfit. And we are going to head to gymnastics. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that you liked it. If you did, be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know that you liked it. Thank you for all of my subscribers for your sweet comments and your support. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see videos from me in the future. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.